think I became very unpopular with my normal audience, which is, I think, a liberal audience. They all thought the Chicago police were awful and the youths were fine. I didn't think the youths behaved very well, and the police, I think, often had reasons to be angry. I, uh, and I said so on television, covering the, uh, the troubles in Chicago. That's uh, the occasion when we had uh, two commentators, uh, William Buckley and Gore Vidal. Oh, yes. And Vidal was far, far left and Buckley far right. <clears throat> and at one point, I uh, uh, said, tell me, Mr. Vidal, don't you think that the crowd, the views, has been rather extra provocative? He said, oh, I don't see any reason for that. This is a democracy. You can say what you want to. I said, well, recently they pulled down the American flag and put up the Viet Cong flag. Now, wasn't that too provocative? He said, we're not at war with Viet Cong. I said, well, put it this way. In 1939 and 40, we were not at war with Germany. But if a crowd had come into Grant's Park and pulled down the American flag and run up the Nazi flag, don't you think that would have been provocative? He said, oh, we don't have Nazis anymore except for Bill Buckley. <laughs> Buckley blew up, and they almost had a fight right on the screen. <laughs> Do you think the uh, the presence of television had an impact on the riotous acts? I mean, I remember the slogan oh, of the kids, they, the whole world is watching. Yeah, I, I'm sure it did. For days before that in Chicago, the uh, yuppies, uh, what was they called? Yupp yuppies or something like that. Uh, they performed in front of cameras because the cameras were there. Once later in Thailand, there was a student riot and the Thai boy came over to us and said, are we as good as those in America rioting? It really affected the behavior.